Alrighty, my creative kiddos, we are going to be making recycled hanging flowers today. Ooh. Art class from Home Edition, lesson number four. Recycled hanging flowers. For your scavenger hunt today, you will need nine. Nine items. Eight plus one equals nine. Maybe that's because I forgot one. All right, here we go. Number one, egg cartons. More than one is cool, preferably cardboard. Number two, sharp scissors. They have to be sharp for optimal precision. I got my sharp scissors from the kitchen. Number three, paint. Acrylic works best. Number four, a paintbrush. Number five, a stick. Preferably longer than one foot long. Have fun finding that outside. Number six, string. Number seven, a plastic bag for trash. You can obviously also use a garbage can. Number eight, patience. This is a longer project and it takes a little more effort to be very precise. So be patient with yourself. Number nine, our bonus one is a paper plate or a paint palette for our paint. I've got my egg cartons and I have my sharp, sharp scissors. Please be careful with your sharp scissors. Okay, now we are going to cut all along the divide. Okay, follow the line as good as you can. I will do my best to show you. That's why you need sharp scissors because they will make the cuts much cleaner and easier, maybe. Ah. Well, I ripped that one, so. Okay, now I'm starting a garbage pile because I made a bit of a mess already. And clean as you go, I'll sweep it right into my trash. Hi! Okay, now you're going to cut these separately into their own little eggs. You're gonna cut right on the separator spot. Exhibit A. And you cut the excess cardboard off so that it looks like that. Okay, so next step we are going to make these fancy weird looking things look like these flowers. Awesome. All right, to do that, we're going to cut these not so pretty edges out. You're cutting out an A shape for Miss Amy. Okay, on every single corner. There should be four triangles on each flower. So get going. This 
is the garbage that I created after just one egg carton and I'm going to throw it all away right now because I don't want anyone else to have to clean up after me. Don't make your mom clean up after you. <laughs> okay, with your pen, find the center of the bottom and just poke a hole right through it, just like that. Make sure that you're making your hole big enough for a string to go through, but not so big that the flower falls apart or too big to tie a knot where it will stay right after. Think on that one. Alrighty, here's all our flowers, ready for paint. I have my three colors, my palette, and my paintbrush. So I'm gonna put just about that much, maybe like a quarter size amount of paint on. Of each color, I'm going to do a little ombre. Ombre is a word that means fading from one color to another color. Then go into it with your pink and fade it in like so. You will definitely get paint on yourself, like me. And that's okay, because we should be washing our hands all the time anyway, right? Right. Get some blue and put it on the tip of your flower petal. All four of your petals should have blue. And then grab some yellow and blend it together. And blue plus yellow equals green, like we learned about before. Okay, finishing it up, blue tips, yellow booty, and ombre in the middle. Voila! I did 10 pink and yellow and 10 blue and yellow. So now I have to do 10 blue and pink. Pink goes on our tips on these ones. Here we go. Then blue on the inside. And pink plus blue equals purple. Just like red plus blue. So when you ombre the colors together, they always blend and create a new color. I really like this one because you can really see the variant shades. Beautiful. Okay, so you should probably stack your flowers like this and not have them on top of each other while they're drying because they will stick together. They look like tripods, but they're actually four-legged tripods, so. <laughs> okay, it's time to wash everything up. You need to take your paintbrush your palette and your messy hands to the sink. All right, wash everything nice and clean. Like my sister would say, washy washy, happy happy. This part is optional. You don't have to 
but I will be painting the inside of my flowers green. So I'm gonna get a good amount of green. I wanna add a little bit of my yellow because this is a thicker paint, so it'll have a better texture for on top of cardboard. So colors together, and I like to squish it together, not necessarily rub it together because it takes up less space that way. Now you're just painting the insides. Now we just have to wash the green paint off the paintbrush and okay I've got my string I'm going to cut about an arm's length so arm and then I cut all right we're going to start with I'm at least going to start with my pink and yellow flowers so I find my hole and I just string the string through the hole. Okay, I've got my flower on the string. Now to, show, to tie a knot, we are going to take it in a loop, pull the string through the loop, and pull the ends together. You don't want it to be too tight of a loop so that it can stay where it is. It's a stopper knot. Okay, doesn't have to be a tight. I started with my pink and yellow flower, then I'm going to my blue and pink flower, and then I need my blue and yellow flower third. Now, if your string is coming apart at the ends, you just have to twist it a little bit so that it's smaller and a little more secure. Pull it through. Tie your knot. And just keep swimming. Woohoo. Okay, my first string had pink, yellow, pink, blue, blue, yellow, and then again, pink, yellow, pink, blue, blue, yellow. So that's gonna be my pattern for every string. I'm gonna go, I'm doing five strings because I made 30 flowers, but figure out a pattern for yours that works for however many flowers you made. Okay, I'm finally almost done. I have three left. I did one, two, three, four, this is my fifth string, all with six flowers on them. It was getting a little frustrating, I'm not gonna lie to you. So if you're getting frustrated or it's taking a while, that's okay, take your time. I had to take some breaks here and there because my hands got tired. So I believe in you, you'll get it done eventually. All right, remember to make sure your flowers are facing down, okay? If your flowers fall down like mine did, we can adjust that in a second too. Just like that. Wrap it around the stick, put a loop, stick the end of the string through, make sure I double knot it. So after the first one, I make another loop, stick the string through, and pull, voila. Take your scissors, cut the excess string off. Alrighty, that's our project for today, my friends. I'm sure you did an amazing job. Send me pictures and I'm really proud of you. Thank you so much for creating with me, my kiddos. It was awesome and I'll catch you on the next one.